So before we dive in, I want to tell you a little story that happened on the way into the studio this morning. I uh, stopped to get a baby bag. Yes, already at the New York. Go away! And sorry to bother you, Mr. Riley. We just want to ask you a few questions. I don't give interviews. Oh, we're not looking for an interview. Give me one good reason why I should talk to you. I'm Billy Loomis's daughter. That's a terrible reason for me to talk to you. My name is Samantha Carpenter. I was attacked last night at the hospital. The night before that, my sister was stabbed seven times. I know you know what that's like. I'm just trying to protect my family. Five minutes. That's all I'm asking. I'll give you two minutes. I'm missing a shoulder leg. Bangs again. Someone staged an interview. Yeah, Weathers. Weren't you two, um. Yeah. Who's he? Oh, uh, this is Richie, my boyfriend. How long have you known him? Six months. Did he know who your dad was when you met? Express any interest in Woodsboro or the. Ghostface killings? What the hell are you talking about? Your killer's obsessed with the stab movies, right? Well, there are certain rules to surviving a stab movie. Believe me, I know. Rule number one, never trust the love interest. They seem sweet, caring, supportive, and then welcome to act three where they're trying to rip your head off. I was with Sam in Modesto when Tara was attacked. And let me guess, you were just in the other room, conveniently unaccounted for when she was attacked at the hospital. Okay, do I have to take this from Sam Elliott over here or what? Rule number two, killer's <laughs> motive is always connected to something in the past. I'm related to Billy. Right, but then why kill that random Vince guy? That's for you to figure out. And rule number three, and this is the most important rule. The first victim always has a friend group that the killer is a part of. Does your sister have a close-knit group of friends? Yeah. She does. Then look for the killer there. If you can find out why they're doing this, you can figure out who's next. So help us. Help us figure out who's behind this. Oh, are you kidding me? I've been stabbed nine times. I've got permanent nerve damage and a fun little limp. You think I want to do that again? You just said it always goes back to the past, right? So if I'm in danger, that means you're in danger. Come on. Let's do this together. Your time's up. Jesus. Yeah, he's way more fun in the movies. Okay, uh, what's next? The friends. Thanks so much for that, Kevin. Coming up after our local weather, the pros and cons of reuniting with old friends. just trying to get a run-in before I take the girls to school. How are you? I'm good, really good. How are you? How's Mark? I think I'll keep him. How are things in the sheriff's business? Uh, they're, they're fine. But Sid... Have you talked to Gail lately? No, not in a couple years. I know things didn't end well with you guys, but... Sid, it, it's happening again. What are you talking about? Some idiot in a ghost face mask. Three attacks so far, one dead. But something about this one just feels different. Are you okay? I'm fine, you know me. Yeah, I do, that's why I'm asking. I'm fine. I just, just want you to be safe up there. Do you have a gun? I'm Sydney Prescott, of course I have a gun. 
Good. That's good. <sighs> Scale now? No, she's my next call. But Sid, promise me. No matter what you hear or what you see on the news, don't come here. No offense, Stu. I have no intention of ever setting foot in that town again. Good. Dewey. Whoever this killer's after, I'm glad they have you to protect them. You be safe, okay? Will do. It's good to hear your voice. You too, Sid. Come on. Shouldn't have sent the smiley face. <laughs> <laughs> 